guys, Joe Wanna coming back in with another battle replay here for Room 2. We have a 3v3 siege here between the Carpe Venom and the Flower Power team. This is a continuation from yesterday's video. I just want to say this tournament is being hosted by the GCSL. We'll make sure to put their link in the description below. Along with, uh, guys, feel free to go on over there, check out the other backseat generals, Ellington and Gorm Mjolnir. Their, their links will be in the description as well. Go on over there, check out what they got going on. Okay, so let's get into the army comps real quick. We'll start off here with the defenders. And first defending army we'll go over here is Bowie who's being commanded by Disclaimable. He is bringing with him seven units of sword followers, six Celtic swordsmen, or, sorry, Celtic warriors. He also has a unit of the Levy Freeman over here, four units of Celtic Bowmen, and his general is an Osworn. Next, um, bar, uh, next army on the battlefield, there we go, we have Cross as Pergamon. He is bringing with him seven units of Galatian Swords, seven Agima Spears, again, very disgusting unit, very disgusting. It's like a Super Thoreo Spear unit, just gross, <laughs> absolutely gross. Uh, one of those seven is his general. He also has three units of archers and one unit of the picked peltasts. Final defending army on the battlefield. We have Kush being commanded by Agent Panda. He is bringing with him seven Shoto warriors, five units of, Sh of the Kushite slaves, three swordsmen, three units of the Kushite archers, and his general is a unit of the royal Kushite archers. Getting on to the attacker side, we will start off here with Seleucid. Now this is the defensive viewpoint, so we're not going to be able to see all of the attacking army. As you can see, we don't see the general here for Seleucid. Getting into his army though, Seleucid is being commanded by Dave the Vassal. He is bringing with him six units of Thorax Swords, three Hillmen, two Royal Peltasts. He's bringing four units of the Syrian Archers, very dangerous Archer unit, and he does have a Greek Scorpion with him. His first ally here is Egypt, being commanded by Bud's Rome. Five units of Thorax Swords, four Galatian Swords, one unit of the Sobek Cultists, which I believe is right here. Yeah, very small unit, only 80 men. Very solid unit, though. Uh, he's also bringing with him three units of the Cretan, Bo Cretan Archers, two un one unit. Wow, numbers are a little difficult along with words sometimes. Three units of Cretan Archers, one unit of Nubian Bows. He had a, a citizen cavalry way out here on Seleucid's flank, probably watching that gate for any sort of a sally out. Uh, he also has with him a scorpion. He's bringing a scorpion as well, which is... Where's his scorpion? Oh, that's right. His scorpion is hiding way, 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 way back over here in the trees. Not a bad idea. Still a pretty far distance for him to bring it all the way up, but not a bad idea. And his general here is a unit of the Ptolemaic Cav. Final attacking army on the battlefield, we have Pedro, who's bringing seven units of Chosen Swords, four units of Celtic Warriors, one Levy Freeman, he has a giant ballista, one unit of Heavy Horse, and he's got an Osworn General. His archers are somewhere, not sure where they are, because they have Stalk, or Vanguard, whatever it is, but uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll see them eventually. No army is really complete without a set of archers. Right off the bat, we have the Bowie Eye Onager firing in onto this unit of Thorax Swordsman. Not getting any good shots yet, though. They're being fired at, but no contact has been made. Ooh, ooh. That was actually a good shot. Six men down on that volley there. Very well done. Still trying to hit this front unit of Thorax Swordsman. Not having a lot of luck. Maybe he's having a little bit of a uh, range problem. And... Uh, okay. It's dead. Uh, is it the ballista here that made the scorpion, I mean, on the top of the tower? That killed them? Because they're all dead. Oh, there's still two of them alive. I don't see them, though. I don't know where they went. <laughs> I see three, four dead bodies. But it's saying that there's still two people active on the unit. That's confusing. Uh, where is the other wall artillery? We have a Kush one way over here. Which I guess kind of makes sense but he could have absolutely taken this post here as his place and another wall artillery? No? No other wall artillery. So who did somebody bring a ground artillery that I missed? I wonder. Mm, I don't see one. No, I don't see the artillery symbol here on the ground. 
this there would be no artillery on this length of wall so there would be one there one there one there and then there's the cush one is there any on this back wall maybe no okay I guess there was only uh, two units of wall artillery for some reason very interesting choice there I don't understand I'm confused maybe he forgot to grab it that's quite possible he forgot to grab it and he just decided to go on without it but anyway we do have Egypt starting to move up a couple of his tortoises Arverni bringing up one tower so far does have two other tortoises and a ram closer to the walls starting to send two of his towers off onto the side here and that's actually a pr well not really usually that would be a pretty dangerous move to put an Oathsworn on a tower wall artillery would absolutely attack that so guys just keep that in your minds if you use you know o uh, Arverni or Nervii or any other factions that can bring Oathsworn don't put Oathsworn on a tower that can easily be shot down by wall artillery swords uninhibited completely so that cultists starting to move over and I'm pretty sure they have what's the ability they have is it scare oh they disappeared can't see him never mind never mind there uh, Averni getting his one tower up towards the wall here still not landing though but they are there so they can see and I'm assuming that's probably going to have the artillery here start firing since there's units that can uh, they can see inside the settlement now, at least to some of it. Or well, they should be able to see some of... Yeah, they can see these units over here for Pergamon. Oh, no, they can't. Why can't they see them? Are they that far? They're not, it's not because they're that far away. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder why they can't see them. Oh, they start to get knocked down. 77, now 93% there. It's a little bit slower of a push here for Seleucid. At the double! Quick march! Do have some of the Kushite slave infantry here climbing up onto the wall. Probably waiting. Oh uh, yeah, now they're going to come back down. Probably just waiting for the Celtic warriors to start coming out, but that is not going to happen here. Second tortoise up on the wall here now, 15% damage. Seleucid still pushing his towers, I mean his uh, tortoises up here? No, he looks like he's holding again. Yeah, this is a very tough area to, to attack, so I don't blame Seleucid for taking it a little slow. He's probably going to wait for Egypt and Arverni to maybe start making their push in. A big section of wall being taken down here. I only see a couple of units. Actually, this unit is not hidden. I'm that's really confusing. I'm wondering why all of these units are still hidden. Well, those aren't. The, okay, so this unit isn't hidden. These units are still hidden, though. That's kind of weird to me. I don't know why. Usually, when towers get up to the wall, they'll be able to see some stuff. Hmm. Still a pretty slow approach here for the attackers. Arverni now starting to send up a couple more towers, Celtic warriors, and a unit of chosen swords. Still no uh, no sight of the Arverni archers yet. We do have the Seleucid scorpions starting to make their way over here towards the Egyptian forces. Is the Egyptian scorpion moving? He is starting to move up now very slowly. So uh, yeah, I don't know why he started it all the way back there. This would have been probably just as good to start it off in that woods. Hmm. More Arverni troops starting to move forward. We have some more of the Egyptian forces. Looks like we're going to actually have some Egyptian forces now make their way in through this breach. Two units of Galatian swordsmen, and they will immediately see some Kushite slave infantry. Good javelin volleys coming in now. Starting to take a couple of losses. 13, 14 men lost already. Here they come, and Galatian swords charging it onto the Kushite slave infantry. Now, my um, common misconception is that the Kushite slave infantry isn't that good, but they're actually they're better than the regular slave infantry. They're melee attack 20, weapon damage 35, melee defense 52, armor 40. So not the not not bad for the price. Not bad little you know 
initial choke point holding units, and they're actually breaking a beaten thing. Well, no, no, never mind. Kushite Slave Infantry is losing. But the Kush, I mean, the Glacian Swordsmen are losing men too, so. Arverni still taking his time getting his one of his tortoises up onto this wall. Ram finally getting up to the gate. And we have a unit of Celtic warriors pulling back off of this tower. I guess maybe he just tried to get it up here to be able to see some forces, but it's not working out for him. Can't see these Celtic bowmen. Sword followers are hidden. This sword follower is hidden. All of these Celtic warriors are hidden. Very strange. Very, very strange. Avernie's going to make himself a nice little bridge point there. This gate is now busted in as well. So the attackers do have a few avenues now two wide breaches three wide breaches sorry medium breach right there gate and another breach here so Arverni's going to start sending in some of his Celtic warriors here do have some Val there they are I knew they were going to show up there's the four units of the Gullic Hunters here for Arverni starting to volley up over the walls what are they firing at they are firing ah knocking pushing back one of the units of the Pergamon archers good target there Definitely worth trying to push them back. Shotel Warriors here taking on a unit of Celtic Warriors. Currently it says, oh okay, Shotel Warriors winning decisively now. Yeah, Celtic Warriors not really going to stand up very well against the Shotels there. Second unit of the Glacian Swordsman maybe going to push into this unit of Kushite Slave. Could possibly be, let's see, are they just going to hold and let the first unit do as much damage as they can. Here comes some Egyptian archers here, mercenary Cretan archers, two of the three, and they're being chased. Unit of Kushite slave infantry getting a good volley off, 13 of them dead. 13 Cretan archers dead already, wow. That's, uh, I wonder why, maybe that was a misclick. Are they archers doing what archers do sometimes, or they just charge in? You try to tell them to attack a certain unit, and they charge in, but yeah, this Cretan unit already, wow, already down almost 30 men comes a unit of Kushite Slave Infantry quickly being chased by a unit of Thorax and now the shoe is on the other foot. Look at that, Slave Infantry getting a big volley into the back, plus 26 men on that volley, now getting a charge in onto the Glacian Swords. Thorax Swordsman though getting a charge in onto the back of that unit of Kushite Slave Infantry. Seleucid here still a side of the, actually no, Seleucid doesn't have a dog in this fight just yet. We do see his general here now, unit, another unit of Royal Peltasts. Okay, so he has a total of three, yes, three Royal Peltasts here for Seleucid. Arverni making a pretty big push. One unit of his Celtic Warriors already shattered. Second unit not looking very good. Yeah, these Shotel Warriors are beasts. Only, you know, only second to their armored Shotel Warriors, older brothers, if you will. But, yeah, these Celtic Warriors not going to really stand a chance. Sword Followers here for Bowie just backing up the Shotels. Uh, we do have a unit of Akima Spears climbing up onto the wall here now as well. I wonder what they're going to try and do. Maybe they're going to fire down. Let's see. Where are they looking? Some of the unit looking in the settlement. Some of the unit looking outside of the settlement. Nothing really being thrown yet, though. Two... Oh, no. Three of the units of the Gallic Hunter still on this side. Arverni starting to move one of his units onto this side here. Moving up another tortoise. Arverni starting to make a little bit more of a push. We do have a unit of Hillman here for Seleucid, just kind of holding, still Seleucid holding. Don't know why. It's probably a team tactic. They're probably communicating, communicating with each other there, but I'm not sure why Seleucid is just... I mean, he's got his archers up there. Well, uh, well, his archers are near. They're not firing just yet. Um, Celtic warriors that have shattered coming out. So Egypt pushing up, actually broke one of the units of Kushite Slave, or routed it at least. Second unit of Kushite Slave starting to not look too good, down to 97 men. Unit of Celtic warriors here for Bowie, I have moved up. Oh, ooh, good volleys. Is that, that's got to be, yeah, Syrian archers getting some good shots up over here into the front line troops for Bowie and Kush. Starting to get some good kills. Watch that Celtic, yeah, that Celtic warrior unit just dropped another 10, 15 guys. 
in that volley. So very well done so far by the Syrians. Doing pretty good, pretty good work so far. Uh, our Verney starting to push. Okay, he's breaking through this wall. He's got another tower coming up, which he could land the tower on the wall there. Still have use of the staircase there. So these Celtic warriors are going to do. Are they just going to sit back on the tortoise? Not sure. You know, of Gallic hunters here just getting picked off by the archer tower. Get on to the other side. Oh, actually, Pergamon's starting to send a unit out. He's got a unit of Galatian swords coming out of the settlement, making their way over here towards the citizen cavalry and this unit of Hillmen. Actually, let's just check real quick. Did the defenders bring any cavalry? I don't think they did. I don't recall saying any in the uh, army comp there in the beginning. Don't think that they do. Finally, we have the the front unit of Shotel Warriors here finally starting to waver, but immediately caught themselves. 164 kills for this unit now starting to waver again. Bowie Eye Sword Followers there about to get uh, side flanked here by a unit of Celtic Warriors, but more Bowie Eye units now making their way down. Some more Celtic Warriors. Good job there. Good teamwork there. Bowie Eye coming on over here and just backing up Kush. And now we have some of the Egyptian archers inside the settlement again. Oh, actually, we have the scorpion here now, too. Let's get an eye and see where he's firing. Is he actually firing? It says he's firing. Okay, there's the shots they're going for right in here. Yeah, they're just going to fire into this blob of Bowie Eye troops here. Another unit of sword followers starting to make their way up. The archers, yeah, the archers are very well defended here by Averni. Okay, good job there. Syrian archers are currently holding fire. Seleucid's still not pushing. Still not a push here for Seleucid. Maybe he's, I guess he's just really anticipating some sort of a sally out over here. I'm not sure. Uh, Celtic Warriors here, unfortunately for our Verney, getting overrun. Celtic Warriors, Bowie Eye, and the Sword Followers here. Good javelins, actually. Some of the unit from this unit, some of the guys from this unit of the uh, Sword Followers getting some good javies into this Celtic Warrior unit, still up on this ridge here, trying to come through their breach, and there they go, they're starting to waver as well, 61 men left in that unit, as you say, get in! a lot of archers in here for the attackers, pretty good job, unit of Syrian archers, we have another unit of the Cretan archers making their way up, OEI is starting to have a unit break, Thorax swordsman here for Egypt doing a pretty good job, Starting to break those swords, the sword followers there, I should say. Again, Egypt pushing in. He's got some, some thorax swordsmen starting to lose here against this unit of sword followers. Do have the Galatian swordsmen right here, though. Nope, they're going to shift positions with some more thorax swordsmen there. These guys firing. It says that they are firing. Let's see where they are shooting. Down to 88 out of 120. Nope, they're going to move forward a little bit. Defenders archers. Let's check and see where the defenders archers are at. We do have two units of Kushites. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have some artillery fire coming in from the giant ballist there from the Arverni army. Let's see. Where are they firing? He might just be bombarding this area. He oh, there it is. Pergamon had a uh, Greek scorpion. Okay. I did not see that in the beginning army comps there. So, But there it is right there. Okay. That's why he didn't have a wall artillery. Makes sense. Shoto warriors here lost 11. This unit of Kushite slave infantry beaten down. They're down to 41. The second unit here at 49. They're going to move forward though. These Shotels are going to start taking some damage though. Still no. Can they see them? Nope. Still hidden. So Arverni just taking, just bombarding this area. Not a bad idea. As you can see, I mean, he's starting to have the units that were here for the defenders start moving around. Some of them are starting to get a little bit of damage to them. Cretan archers, Syrian archers here getting some good volleys up over the wall. Uh, oh, actually. Kushai? Oh, no, no, no. That's the defenders. Ah, my bad. Yeah, they're firing in onto the Galatian swords. Two units of Galatian swords and a unit of the Kushite archers down. Nine men so far. Averni not having the greatest of luck so far. Does have another unit of his chosen swordsmen coming up, getting into. Nope, pulling back from the Galatian swords. Hmm, difficult so far. Oh, what is this? 
The Gima Spears here for Pergamon outside of the settlement. I wonder, maybe they just came out and searched over here? I did not see. They might have just come over and searched. Now they're going to come back into the settlement there. Our Verni archers pulling back from the wall. The other new unit of Os... Oh god, Osworn General getting really close to that gate. Not a lot of the defenders are... Oh, no, no, no. Kushite archers here firing back and a little bit of a volley back and forth against some of these Cretan archers. Cretan archers now down to 55 men left with 48 kills. That's not looking good for this Cretan archer unit. Syrian archers here still firing back. Now a unit of the Celtic bowmen here for Bowie I have moved up as well. Kushite archers taking some volleys from the Gallic hunters there too. Seleucid still holding. So far, he's only really using his archers. Looks like he's, yeah, he's he's got a defensive position here like this. So he's just watching this gate very intently, I guess. Very nervous about a, about a sally out coming out. 23 minutes, 20 seconds left in the battle. Attackers kind of, yeah, really not taking very much of the front part of the settlement. And they, they, have, they have a push going on over here, but Pokemon is able to just re reinforce... I mean, they have a couple of their, their uh, Galatian swords here. One unit of archers. Seleucid needs to start pushing in here a little bit, or at least start trying to make a little bit of a presence on this side. So Pergamon will have to be able to put units over there. I've already sent in a lone unit of chosen swordsmen over here. And they are just getting absolutely killed. Two units of sword followers, and there they go. Chosen swordsman unit wrecked. 63 kills. That is rough to see. Osworn General is pushing, in fact, pushing through the gate here into some Celtic warriors, which actually could maybe be the beginning of something, as we do have some chosen swordsmen here starting to break a Galatian sword unit, but uh, Thorax swordsman right here. So... Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. I got that backwards. The Galatian Sword Unit is the defender. He's actually... Yeah. Oh, wait. The Game of Spears moving up. I want to see this. I want to see this volley. Can I get a volley? Well, speaking of volley, more of the Cretan archers here for Egypt getting some volleys, getting some good arrow shots up probably into the side of this unit with sword followers there. And they're firing into the back of this Celtic warrior unit as well. I think I'd, I would rather be firing at this, at this uh, chosen at this, uh, sword follower unit to try and help get this Osworn general through. So if this Osworn can start getting into this, into these mediocre units, these Celtic warriors, probably do some serious damage. Uh, we do have the Bowie Osworn general starting to make his way up. Pergamon unit of Galatian swords getting routed. Egypt starting to pull back a little bit. Some more archer fire coming. Kushite archers getting some good volleys up over the buildings again. For these Cretan archers, we do have the Greek scorpion here for Pergamon up, facing the wrong direction. I don't think this thing is actually firing right now. Which, I mean, he's got a pretty—it's got a pretty good range. Yeah, 350. So this, yeah, this scorpion could absolutely be just sitting back here, pelting shots up towards the gates. The Osuan General pushed through, still trying to make his way through this gate. Another unit of sword followers came up. Wow. That, is that the same unit? Maybe it is the same unit of sword followers. Are they firing into the... Yes, they are firing into the sword follower unit. Okay, good. That is good to see. Trying to help the Osuan General out. Who's starting to win slightly here now. Only because of the archer fire, though. Thorax Swordsmen for Egypt have been pushed up again. Solbeck Coltes just hanging out here. And here comes some uh, Royal Peltes for Seleucid making their way up. That is a solid unit there. Very, very solid unit for Seleucid. Still has some Hillmen. Does he have all three? Oh, these are just Hillmen that are out here. So I guess his bigger troops getting ready to be pushed in. Let's see. How much does he have left? He's got a thorax way back here. A couple more. Oh, he's got three, four more units of thorax. Okay, so Seleucid is still pretty solid on infantry. Galatian swordsman here holding this line. Which... Mm, 
I don't know, I mean, with the Seleucid units being so far back, might not be... Well, no, because Seleucid's got some of his... Another unit of Royal Peltas too, actually, with his general. So, okay, so Pergamon's just going to hold... Pergamon and Kush are going to hold there. Starting to shift some of their units around a little bit. Good archer fire here from the Kush general. Getting some good shots in onto this unit of Thorax Swordsman. They're going to go... Swordsman here for... Kush started to pull back, allowing the Kushite general to get some fantastic shots in. There goes a unit of Thorax. Uh, this is a bit of a problem. Seleucid, though, does have a unit of his Royal Peltas coming in. As these swordsmen could have easily come up here and started get, getting into the uh, Scorpion and Crete, no, sorry, Syrian archer unit there. It's a little confusing sometimes, some of the. All, with, all of these different factions that can bring Selu so, <laughs> Syrian and Cretan archers. It's a little difficult sometimes to remember who exactly has who. Uh, Verney still has a ton of troops. Oh, one of his towers here is about to fall down there. Uh, Verney still has a decent amount of troops, though. Some chosen swords. He still has his cavalry here. Levy Freeman. Uh, unit of Galician swords on a far tortoise here for Egypt. Just kind of holding their position, maybe waiting for a opportunity to throw this unit up at the wall to at least be a distraction unit. Ptolemaic Cav General here for Egypt, going to disappear into the light brush area there. Let's get into some of the fighting here. Oh, actually, good job. Galatian Swords and the Royal Peltas going to push their way through. Or break, sorry, not push their way through. I want to use that terminology. Break this unit of swordsmen right behind them. They have some Agima Spears for Pergamon facing the wrong way. That's a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, these, these archers here, these Cretan archers are going to have a field day. Getting some very good shots onto this Akima Spear unit. Down 50 men. Glacian Sword unit right behind them. Down to 123. The Kush force has routed. 55 left. They may come back. It looks like they're going to get pinched. Now they're going to get destroyed. That unit will be routed or broken very soon here. Royal Peltas and this Galatian Sword unit should be able to break through these Pergamon Galatian Swords pretty easily. The Game of Spears pulling really far back. Uh, where's this Archer Fire coming from? Is that from the Call of Hunter now? Who's firing like that? Who's firing all the way over here? Is it Archers here? Oh, there is a unit. There's a unit of Gaulic Hunters inside the settlement getting some volleys up and over. And they are firing in onto one of the units of Kushite archers here out of ammunition archers again. Got to keep an eye on what you're firing at. Because they are firing at a unit that could easily be crushed by one of their infantry units. So, technically a lot of ammo there being used and wasted by our Verney, unfortunately. Do have now Solution starting to press up on this side. Three units of his Syrian archers over here getting some good volleys up and over, firing down onto some of the swordsmen. Getting a good couple of shots in onto the Kushite archer general. Down six men so far. Pergamon pushing a unit of, of uh, Galician swords over here. Block this passage. Some more swordsmen here for Kush. Actually, they have, what's up on the wall here? Kushite slave infantry up on the wall. I think they have javelins. Yeah, they do. They're getting ready. Maybe they're waiting for the Seleucids to start pushing in further. Thorax Swordsman here, waiting. Getting shot at by the Arrow Tower there. Galician Swords beat up Galician Sword unit behind them. The Slaves firing. No. They are not shooting. Speaking of shooting though, again Syrian Archers getting some good volleys up and over. Firing into the Chotel Warrior unit. Very heavy, oh, I'm sorry, heavy melee infantry. Not very heavy. Getting some good kills, though. Killed another two on that volley. Fifteen minutes in, uh, fifteen minutes left. This is looking pretty rough for the attackers. Looking pretty rough. This is the Arverni artillery here out of ammo. Does look like he might be. He doesn't have a shot loaded here. 299 kills, though. Wow. Really? What all did he hit up here? 
definitely got some good shots in on some of these units that were up on this top here. Probably got some uh, some volleys in here as well, I would imagine. But yeah, still looking very rough here for the attackers. Difficult, difficult part. Well, here we go. Two units of Hillman coming in. They're going to be taken on by some Galatian swords. Thorax swordsman here for Seleucid coming in. Now we have two units of Thorax swordsman here. They should be able to beat this unit of swordsman pretty easily. But unfortunately, we do have a unit of Shotel warriors right there. And with their AP damage, they're going to be able to do a lot of damage to these very heavy infantry guys. Seleucid starting to pull his swordsman back. I think he's trying to beat him into it. Yep. Shotel Warriors getting some really good volleys in onto these Thorax Swordsmen. This unit down to 115, other unit with 156 left. Syrian Archers getting some good volleys in onto a unit of Celtic Warriors there. Galatian Swords taking on the Hillman shouldn't be a problem for the Galatian Swords to win this combat along with the, with the uh, Celtic Warriors here. Yeah, volleying into this Hill, these two units of Hillman here. One unit of Hillman already down to 75 men. They're going to start routing there. Second unit pushing in a little bit. 103 left in that unit. Seleucid Scorpion still over here. He is continuing to move forward. We do also still have the Egyptian one here. Let's see how many kills he has. 163 with the Scorpion here. Yeah, Arverni's having a very difficult time here against Bowie I and uh, Pergamon. Very difficult time. Chosen Swords here taking on some Sword Followers, a unit of Celtic Warriors as well. But still not looking very good. Galatian Swords there. We do have... what was firing? I saw something. I saw some arrows come flying over this way. No? No. Nope. There's a unit of Celtic Bowmen way up over here for Bowie Eye up on the wall. Guessing they're out of ammo. No, they're not. They're just kind of hanging out up there. Another tortoise here, so that unit, uh, the tortoise that was over here for Egypt is now pushing up to the wall, Galician Swords. Mmm, gonna be difficult again. The Game of Spears making their way up onto the wall, probably gonna just get into a position to be able to get some good volleys down. Wall he is now starting to be damaged, up to 15% there. Let's swing back around, actually, ooh! All right, we're starting to have a little bit of the frontline unit of swordsmen there starting to break. We do have the Royal Peltas General who has found a gap, trying desperately to get through. The swordsmen have now broken. Here we go. Floodgate is beginning to open here for Seleucid, but I do see the Kush Onager getting some volleys up and over. Firing in onto the Syrian archers, quickly having to move to their left to get out of the way. But there we go. Yeah, broken through here. Egypt now pushing up, breaking that unit of the Galician swords. So now we have some thorax. Two units of thorax, one from Seleucid, one from Egypt there. A lot of good units here pressing this front. Good job here. Some more. Actually, here comes a unit of the Levy Freeman. The Gima Spears here getting some good volleys in, probably firing at the general they are. They're firing right at that Seleucid General, losing some men down to 109 in that unit. Bowie Celtic Warriors here trying their best, taking on these Thorax. Two units of Thorax Swords, Game of Spears here, taking on a unit of the Thorax Swordsmen there for Egypt. Some more Galatian Swords making their way up. Levy Freeman here. Have they thrown their javelins? I don't think they have. No, zero kills, so they still have all of their javelins. Some more Game of Spears. So it was, okay, delayed attack there by Seleucid. Seems to be having some effect so far. We have some more Hillmen now making their way into the settlement. Arverni over here with Egypt. Doing pretty good push on this side. A lot of good archer fire coming though. Unit of Celtic Bowmen there. Starting to, actually Pergamon starting to bring his scorpion down in that direction. This street here is well defended. Yeah, a lot of units getting blobbed up caught up over here I should say very beaten up unit of the Game of Spears going to come on over back up this other unit of uh, Game of Spears Cretan Archer's getting some good volleys in onto that one unit starting to waver immediately okay okay so business is kind of starting to pick up a little bit we actually wow Pergamon sent a unit of Galician swords out here 
to take on the Galatian Swordsman of Egypt. Heavy Horse 4, Arverni has pressed up. Probably got a good charge in onto that unit. Yeah, I'm guessing the Ballista is out of ammunition. Chosen Swords, we do have a Levy Freeman here for Arverni that was sallied out upon or pushed out on by a unit of Galician Swords there for Pergamon. So Pergamon actually, yeah, Pergamon's doing a good job breaking this unit of Galician Swords and with the unit of Celtic Bowman up on the wall there. All right, so this, this breach point is going to be taken care of. Well, no, Heavy Horse coming back over, getting a good charge in. They have activated their Frenzy Charge ability. They're getting an okay charge in onto that Galatian Sword unit. Starting to lose. Unit losing slightly now, but these Galatian Swords are going to break. There they go. So now it's just going to be the Cavalry in here. Heavy Horse taking on a unit of Galatian Swords. Heavy Horse is outnumbered, along with the Bowie Eye Archers up on the wall there. Probably going to start losing some more of their horses. get on back over here to see how Seleucid is doing. Yeah, it's not making as much ground as he probably wished that he was. Some more Shotel Warriors making their way up. Uh, we do have a unit of the Swordsmen up on the wall there throwing their Javelins down into these Thorax Swordsmen here. Comes some Shotel Warriors going to charge out get into a battle here with these two units of Thorax. And wow, this unit of Thorax immediately starting to waver. Pergamon does have a unit here starting to waver there too, so, I mean, it's still, I mean, there's only 755 left though, but the defenders have used a lot of their army. Let's see what he still has left as far as Kush. He's got two units of full Shotel warriors. His general's been beaten up a little bit. His other two units of Kushite archers have been damaged pretty severely. Let's see what Pergamon has left. Uh, Pergamon has his general with Game of Spear unit. Does have two other units here. Bowie, uh, he still does have his three archers there. Uh, he still has his scorpion here. Yeah, Arverni just did not have very much luck pushing through. Ptolemaic Cav General did go for a charge inside. I did not see who they charged at, though. I do apologize for missing that. Maybe he just went up to hit an ability. I see that he has just hit the rally button there for the attacking units but it's not looking like it's having very much of an effect seeing a lot of the Egyptian units here starting to waver that was a unit of Thorax swordsmen there chosen swords for Arverni starting to waver I think we just had another unit of Thor of uh, let's see what that was Sopa Coltes just shattered there chosen swordsmen here have shattered as well not looking too good for the attackers at all it's unfortunate very unfortunate that first battle was really, really good between these two teams. But sometimes you have, you know, sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, actually, no, we have Citizen Cavalry here for Egypt inside the settlement trying to get around these Shotel Warriors. Maybe trying to get into the Archers there, maybe get into the Kushite Archer General too. Bowie Eye Archers and two units of the Pergamon Archers. Now this Cavalry locked into combat. Yeah, he's locked in with some swordsmen, probably some showtel warriors mixed in there as well. And look at that, Citizen Cavalry breaking down. Very unfortunate there. Very, very unfortunate. Osworn General here taking a big hit. He's down to 69 out of 160. Uh, ooh, 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 wait a second. Ptolemaic Cav General here for Egypt starting to make his way around. This could be something here. It's Ptolemaic Cav, he's 49 out of 80. There's nothing in that town center, and I don't see any other units around. This could be big. I wonder if he's just going to charge down the stairway here and start trying to get into the back lines of Bowie Eye and Pergamon. That's what it looks like he's doing. We're going to hang out with him and see what he tries to do. Let's take a look again up at the front real quick. Do still have some Thorax Swordsman. The Royal Peltas General for Seleucid has pushed in. Yeah, Seleucid still does have some good infantry, good good size infantry units there. Ptolemaic Cav Gen's going to stop. No, what's he doing? No, oh, he's still going. Do these Bowie Eye Archers have ammo? They do. They're starting to get some volleys up over there, but I don't think they're going to get very many kills. Oh, no, kill two, three. Oh, well, actually, they're getting good kills now. Getting some shots in onto the Ptolemaic Cav General. He is now swinging around onto the hilltop here. 
probably be scouting the town center. We do have a unit of Shotel Warriors for Kush. Full unit of Shotel Warriors making their way back. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in this battle replay. Our vernie has got a couple of units pushing up in this direction. Some more. A game of spears from Pergamondo making their way over. Quickly charging in against these two units of archers. Seleucid General trying to catch up. I think this uh, Scorpion might be in a bad spot. Our Verney Archer starting to waver. We have the Pergamon General now coming down. Very rough. Very rough situation. Tomei Cav General still just kind of running around over here. I think he's looking for an opportunity. Or he might still be just scouting. I, I don't exactly know what he's doing. But now we have Pergamon sending some archers out of the settlement. Heavy horse here for Arverni still around though. I wonder what he's going to try and do. Maybe he's going to follow the uh, Egyptian army's general's suit. Going to get a charge in onto these Pergamon archers, which is good. Two units of the Pergamon archers there. Good job. Going to volley in on the... Oh no. Perg the Egyptian general's getting rained down on now. Fifteen men left in the unit. Is his general dead? I think he is, yeah, General is dead. Egypt has not, doesn't have a lot of units left, but I mean, you can even see the defenders don't really have a lot of infantry left. So this is still possible here. They still, I mean, the defenders still have some archers left, but they don't have very much infantry left. They have Shotel there, uh, Gima Spears, Levy Freeman. Gima Spear, oh no. Royal Peltas General taking some damage. Taking some damage, but this unit of Agima Spears actually getting shot at by two units here, one from Seleucid, one from Egypt. So good teamwork there again. Trying every avenue that they can to try and break through. If I was this if I was the Egyptian general, I would just run over to the town center. Just start trying to cap it. That's what I honestly that's what I would do. Uh, heavy horse here for Arverni, not looking too good. Still taking more losses down to 20, but they have broken this unit of the Pergamon archers. This is another opportunity. Two minutes, 12 seconds. Start pushing these units in, get to the town center. That's exactly what I would do. Get to that town center now. Okay, wait a second. Now it looks like it's flip-flopped here. So now the attackers have more infantry. It's looking a lot better for them than it is for the defenders from what I can see. They have a lot more infantry than the defenders do. So I'm not seeing something. Heavy horse still not coming in. I would have brought the heavy horse in. Oh, maybe he's gonna try and come over and catch a charge in onto the back of these Shotel Warriors. Pergamon pushing out some more Game of Spears. Yeah, this is kind of all over the place. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Minute 32 left in the replay. Heavy horse coming in for a charge. Good charge in onto the back of the Shotel Warrior unit. Leave them in there for a couple seconds, pull them back out, have them recharge again. Oh, Egyptian generals getting hit. Oh, down to five, and he is now broken. Not looking good. Minute left, minute and 11 left here for the attackers. Oh, wow, I really thought they would have had that there. I wonder if the two units of heavy, if the two units of cavalry had charged over to the town center. I mean, we did see the one unit of Shotels coming over with the Levy Freeman, but I think the two units of cavalry might have been able to do a lot of damage if they were attacking from either side. They could have done a lot of damage to those Levy Freeman, even to the Shotel Warriors as well. But we're starting to see some more of Seleucid starting to waver there. A lot of Seleucid flags, yeah. 37 seconds left in the battle. Arverni's got his artillery crew starting to make their way forward. Heavy horse here for Arverni, starting to make their way into the settlement finally. I don't think it's going to be enough though. Yeah, 24 seconds left. Oh, very, very, very hard fought battle here by the attackers and the defenders. Tough battle. Very tough battle, but yeah, it's looking like Carpe Venom is going to be victorious here, which will put them at 2-0 and, oh and move them on to the next round. Yeah, the last couple of units here for Arverni now wavering. There you go. Costly victory for the defenders. Let's get into the army comps here. We'll start off with Disclaimable and Bowiei. Os1 General 147. Archers pretty pretty good. 84, 86, 63. Uh, Frontline Celtic Warriors here 127, 124, 81. 
Levy Freeman only 21 kills. Eh. Sword followers here, 169, 169, 182, 288, 200. Very well done with his sword followers. Agent Panda here with Kush. His general, 108 kills. Kushite Archers, 130, 75. Shoto Warriors, 98, 188, 160, 143, 173, 171. Slave, Kushite Slave Infantry, 233 kills. Is that the highest kills we've had so far? Nope, sorry, some of the sword followers, 288 there, okay. Uh, let's get into Pergamon here with Cross. A game of General, 153. His archers really not, actually not that good at all. Not good numbers there. Pick Peltas, 69. A game of Spears, 159, 109, 141. Uh, 160, actually no, no kills there for those units. Sorry. Oh no, yeah, they had 160 kills. Not, didn't lose a single man. Wow. Uh, Galician Swords, 110, 107, 133, 126. Very well done there by Pergamon on the defense. Getting into Bud's Rome here with Egypt. His general, 51. Citizen Cavalry, 72. I'm sorry, 51, 72. Greek Scorpion, 193. His archers doing pretty well, 157, 124. 237 for the Nubian Bowman there. Galician Swords, 152, 161. Sobek Coltis, unfortunately, only 66 kills. Thorax Swordsman, 101, 153, 261 there, solid unit, 149, solid unit there as well. Dave the Vassal here with Seleucid, his general, 106, other two Royal Peltas, one, uh, 214, 140. His Thorax Swordsman, 148, 134, 220, 110. His Greek Scorpion, only 66 kills. Hillman, really not a whole lot, yeah, they're uh, pretty much a garbage unit. Uh, Syrian Archers here, 137, 111, 89, 112, and Pedro here with Arverni. His Osworn General, 173. His Giant Ballista, 323 kills. Very well done with his Ballista there. Heavy Horse, 135. Levy Freeman, 124. Gullet Hunters, 159, 178, 246, 139. Very solid from the Celtic, from the Gullet Hunters there for Arverni. Very well done with his Archers. Uh, Celtic Warriors here, not really very good. 58, 56, highest numbers. Chosen Swords, 101, 119, 105, 145. All right, guys, well, that is going to be the end of the bracket here for these two teams. Like I said, Carpe Venom going to be start going to be moving on to the next round. Big, big, big shout out there to Flower Power, though. They did a very well, very, very good job on that first events. Very good job. Uh, again, I just want to toss this out. Make sure, guys, get over there. Check out the other backseat generals. Check out Ellington. He's been really doing. He's been doing some very fantastic work. Really, really killing it on YouTube right now. So get on over there if you haven't already. Get over there. Check out his stuff. And of course, get over there. Check out Gorn Molnir. He does. Uh, he's starting to upload a lot more lately. So get on over there. Check out his content. Very, very, very good YouTubers. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end it here. Hope you guys are continuing to stay safe. Have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys soon.